Right. Hello, and we want to welcome all of you to today's online travel presentation, Best of Switzerland Scenic Train. My name is Kristen Stewart, and I'll be your moderator for today's presentation. We understand it is not an easy time to travel, so this is a perfect time to start cracking open those travel books and prepping where you want to be. Before we begin today's travel presentation, I would like to go over a few things. First, we will hold all questions until the end. If you do have questions during the presentation, please type them in the question box in the GoToWebinar toolbar and we will cover them at the end. Second, we will have two questions during this presentation and we encourage you to participate by submitting your answer in the GoToWebinar question box. And lastly, this webinar will be recorded and will be available after the presentation. So I wanna uh, kick us off and start by getting to know us and introducing us a little bit. Um, my name is Kristen Stewart and I am the marketing coordinator for Vacations by Rail and the moderator for this online travel presentation. And shortly you will meet Frank, Vacation by Rail, Vacations by Rail's Rail Specialist and a presenter today. So I'm gonna um, get started with our first open question. Have you ever visited Switzerland? So feel free to submit those answers in the GoToWebinar question box and let us know. All right, so it's starting to look like a, a little bit down the middle. About half of you have said um, yes, and about half have said no, which is great because whether or not you've been to Switzerland, this is a great opportunity to learn about our products and perhaps uh, get some travel inspiration on places you may or may not have been. So I want to tell you a little bit about Vacations by Rail. In addition to the wide variety of vacations that we offer around the globe, we also offer best-in-class customer care with a dedicated rail specialist to assist you from your first call until you return home from your vacation. We are the leading rail vacations company in the United States, offering the largest selection of independent rail vacations, escorted rail tours, rail cruise combinations, and luxury rail journeys. We are the trusted authority on rail and a member of the National Tour Association and American Bus Association with the Better Business Bureau a rating. We are also AARP's preferred rail provider. We're a great rail journeys company backed by more than 45 years of experience in the specialty of global rail vacations. And we deliver unmatched rail vacations and first class service to destinations around the globe. We also offer a vacation options aboard the world's most iconic trains. So next I wanna tell you a little bit why, a little bit about why you should take a rail vacation. It's a unique way to see parts of the country not accessible through other modes of transportation. You leave the navigation and driving to someone else. You mix iconic trains with uh, fantastic destinations and improved sightseeing. Rail travel is an integral part of the vacation experience, not just a uh, travel component. So there's no need to stop for meals or overnight accommodations. Everything is available for you from start to finish. And lastly, a rail vacation is a great way to meet people from all over the globe. So next I wanna tell you um, what's included in every Vacations by Rail vacation. So you get an outstanding rail component ranging from overnight trains to scenic heritage railways. You get comfortable accommodations that are centrally located within national parks or in the heart of large cities. You get the comprehensive sightseeing offering one of a kind of experiences, insider experiences and local expertise and exceptional customer service from agents who specialize in rail. And speaking of an agent who specializes in rail, I'd like to introduce you to Frank Howard. He will be our presenter today. Hi, Frank. Hi, Kristen. All right, so my name is Frank and I'm one of the agents at Vacations by Rail and I've uh, been to Switzerland many times and uh, I know a little bit about this train right here. I took this uh, many years ago, had an amazing experience. This is the Glacier Express going across the Lahnwasser viaduct here, which is a very, very famous image here. Now, aboard the Glacier Express, when I rode, this service was not available. This is new. This is the last two years or so. Uh, this is excellence class. Now, you do get fed aboard the Glacier Express if you merely ride in first, but in excellence class, you have a more extensive menu. Uh, you have these fully modern cars here. Um, you get first class service, as you can see down the lower left, uh, there's an open bar there. Uh, it's a great way 
uh, to see the scenery here. Uh, you're in deluxe accommodations as you glide through this astounding uh, nature here. So this again is the Glacier Express right here. Now this trip, uh, this particular trip is escorted uh, and it's, since we do have a lot of customers from the United Kingdom, it does go in and out of St. Pancras International in London. Um, for North American passengers, I would recommend highly getting a pre-night and post-night hotel. We do have preferred hotels that we use around the uh, station, um, but it's nice. So your, your customers could fly in at, you know, arrive at their hotel, check in at, you know, at their ease. They're not racing to meet a train. Uh, and then they could shake off jet lag and see a little bit of London. Uh, and then the next morning, merely cross the street to St. Pancras Station, where Vacations by Rail has an office right across from the Eurostar Station. That's where you'll meet your tour director and the rest of your tour. Uh, you take the Eurostar. So this is a, a, a an added plus for people. Um, this is the high-speed train that goes under the English Channel here. Uh, and you can upgrade that experience. Uh, the package comes with standard class tickets, which are second class, which is very nice, uh, but you can, uh, for a little extra money, uh, take first class aboard the Eurostar because it is uh, a great experience. Um, you do train change trains here in Paris, uh, but you're at Gare du Nord uh, a short time before you hop on a train towards Strasbourg, which is your first overnight. Uh, you do have dinner that night, and Stroudsburg is just a lovely place, to say the least. It's uh, It's got a, a nice old world uh, charm, a really manageable old town in the middle. Uh, and that's where we're staying. That's where we have a hotel. As you can see, it's eight days, seven nights. It starts from 2065, begins ends in London, and we have departures uh, throughout the summer months. So as I mentioned, it's a, one of the highlights is taking the Eurostar. Um, and then there's scenic excursions aboard the Bernina Express and the Glacier Express. There's also the Gornagrat train, uh, which is uh, an excursion uh, in Zermatt. Uh, what you see in this photo is the Matterhorn. Uh, Zermatt is at the base of the Matterhorn, and there is a, a hair-raising but very memorable train excursion aboard uh, the Gornagrat train, which is the, the, the mountain that's adjacent to the Matterhorn. So you get spectacular views of the Matterhorn that and a farewell dinner, as you can see, in Kandersteg. That's Kandersteg on the left. You can see how beautiful it, that is. That is your base for a few nights. Um, lower left, that's the town of Kerr. Uh, you are in Kerr for a few nights because the, both the glacier and the Bernina go through Kerr. Uh, that is the oldest town in Switzerland. Uh, they say it goes back more than 6,000 years. Um, there's the Eiffel Tower, uh, but you're not really going to see it on this door because you're just going through Garden Arts Station there. Uh, and then the lower right, uh, that is Strasbourg. Uh, and you can see how beautiful Strasbourg is. This is the Bernin Express. Um, this is a very famous station. This is the Alp Groom station. Uh, the train does stop there because uh, it's a switching point. The Bernin Express is a single track, but uh, trains coming from Lugano from the other direction will uh, use that second track there. So this train will will stop for a bit. And an added bonus is they could get out, take a picture. That is the Palu Glacier. Uh, it's spectacular. It's really, really beautiful. All right, Best of Switzerland by Rail. This is uh, one of our most popular escorted products. Um, uh, I mean, it really just kind of covers almost uh, everything worth seeing in Switzerland. It's, uh, as you can see, nine nights, 10 days, starting from 36.99. It begins and ends in Zurich. Uh, so this is a really ideal uh, for North American passengers here. Zurich Airport is one of the more manageable airports in Europe. I've been in and out of that airport at least half a dozen times. Um, and they've recently just refurbished the airport. We do have an office there. I'll get into that later. Uh, but as you can see, 20, 20 departures there and then 2021 departures. Uh, June 7th, August 10th, September 7th, although we this product is so popular, we may be adding more departures for 2021. As you can see uh, by the itinerary there, we cover a lot on this tour. So uh, something to think about when you have passengers who have perhaps a mobility issue, there's a lot of getting on and off trains. Um, so uh, it's a, it's not hectic, but it's, it's filled, it's packed. So, um, 
it's just something to think about. It does the 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 it requires a bit of vigor on the part of your passengers here. Uh, there are there are plenty of nights where you have free time to do what you want, relax. Uh, but we do fit in a lot here because there is a lot to see. By the way, just a little side note about Switzerland. Um, this is an ideal location for anyone who has never been to Europe before. And, and I say that because of, well, Switzerland's geography. It's surrounded by very, uh, well, more powerful <laughs> neighbors, uh, which has influenced the country. The country is very small. It's easy to get from one place to another. Uh, North American passengers will not have a lot of culture shock or language barrier problems. Um, everyone in Switzerland speaks at least three languages fl fluently. I mean, obviously, German will be spoken in Lucerne and Zurich. Um, you know, and then it's almost like a crash course of Europe, because then when you go down to Montreux, uh, it's as if you're on this, the French Riviera. And indeed, when you walk the streets, you will hear French being spoken. Uh, when you get down to the south of the country, that's the Italian part of the country, uh, you will hear Italian on the streets. The, the buildings will change in character. You'll, they'll look like a building straight out of Italy with the, uh, the, the red tiled roofs, palm trees, things like that. And then when you're in the, in the mountains here, uh, you're gonna hear Romanche, which is the Swiss language. Um, but everybody's second language in Switzerland is English, so. So this trip, uh, it includes the Swiss Pass, which uh, when you do have a free night, you can use uh, to get into museums, to ride trams across town. The Swiss Pass includes nearly everything. Uh, the tour does include uh, all those scenic excursions. Here. You can see how many trains are on there. The Glacier Express, Bernina Express, the Golden Pass, the Gornergrat, the Lucerne Interlaken Express, and the Reggio Express. Uh, so that's a lot of trains. There's a fondue dinner, as you can see. Uh, there's the Appenzell excursion. Uh, there is a day trip to Toronto, Italy. When you go to the Italian part of Switzerland, you do cross the border and there's a little tour of Toronto. Uh, and we also include a Zurich city tour. Well, here is Switzerland and all oh, its glory here. Um, lower left, that is Lucerne. Um, and then that's Interlaken uh, uh, in the middle on the bottom there. Uh, there, of course, is the Bringing Express. And then Zermatt in the upper right-hand corner. A really nice thing about Zermatt is, uh, and this is something I did when I was there, uh, you can see the Matterhorn from nearly everywhere in town. There is no traffic in Zermatt, no motorized traffic. Um, uh, so it has a nice walkability to it. And in the morning, uh, the sun does come up and hits the Matterhorn first. So you'll see people in their jammies out in the streets with their cameras ready uh, as the sun rises. It'll hit the Matterhorn and it lights the mountain up like a torch and just bathes the town in a pink glow. It's really, really beautiful. This is the Golden Pass. This is actually a train that's part of the regular Swiss train system. This is not a, a private scenic railway, but it goes through such scenic uh, terrain that it is popular with tourists. But you will meet Swiss people on this train. They use it to go from place to place. Uh, but the train is equipped with larger windows uh, to accommodate people who are there just to take in the beautiful view. Okay, this is a grand train tour of Switzerland. This is one of our independent tours. And uh, independent tours are great for people who wanna kind of do their own thing. They don't wanna be in a group uh, or have a tour guide uh, shepherding them around. Um, you could also take things at your own pace from time to time. The only trains you really have to meet at a specific time on this tour are the Glacier and the Bernina, because you do have a seat reservation uh, included in the price of your package on these trains, and there's a specific departure time uh, daily. But other trains, you could uh, simply use your Swiss Pass, which is part of this package, and uh, simply swan onto any train you wish. Uh, so this can be customized and, and, and tinkered with. So pretty much you're hitting the same things that you would get on that escorted tour, except like I said, you are going at your own pace. This is 10 nights, 11 days, as you can see from 2375, begins in Zurich, ends in Lucerne. Uh, you don't have to fly out of Lucerne. You would simply go back to Zurich airport because uh, direct trains from Lucerne city center directly to the airport uh, 
in Zurich uh, leave. There's about five direct trains an hour. So, uh, by the way, this is an independent tour. You will be equipped with an itinerary with all your hotels and pertinent information. When you arrive at Zurich Airport at the beginning of this tour, uh, you will walk towards the exit. There's only one way to go. <laughs> walk towards the exit of the airport and there is our office directly in front of the train station. Now the train station is right under the international terminal uh, and there are trains not going just to most Swiss cities but to all parts of the continent, to Italy, to France. Um, and so you would simply collect your pass at our office and get on the next train into the city there. And these are, this is good because as you can see like one night in Montreux, you know, that can be changed. Since you're not in a group, you could customize this. Uh, so if you really wanted to see, you know, a spend more time in Lucerne, say, we could certainly add hotels and uh, add, tinker with this and just add more time just to customize it for, your, for you or your customers there. Okay, so you can see the highlights there. There are no meals included because this is uh, an independent tour, but you do get fed on the Glacier Express. And there's a few pictures here. Uh, there's Grindelwald on the left. We haven't seen that yet, lower left. Uh, that's a little mountaintop uh, uh, in Grindelwald there. And let's see, what else? Here's the Grand Train Tour, and this is the version in winter. Obviously, some things that are included on the Grand Train Tour of Switzerland in, in the summer months cannot be included here, like the lake cruise of, of Lake Lucerne, obviously. The lake's going to be frozen. Uh, but Switzerland is beautiful in the wintertime. I've often traveled to Switzerland in shoulder season, and I've gone once in winter. That's when I took the Glacier Express. And uh, it's stunningly beautiful. And uh, if you go around Christmas time, boy, oh, boy, the Swiss do Christmas just great. The towns are going to be decked out. To, you'll feel like you're on the North Pole. Um, it's really beautiful in wintertime. Now, this is the Jungfrau Railway. This is uh, has the highest rail stations, one of the highest rail stations in the world, and certainly the highest rail station in Europe. Uh, you will go to the top of the Alps, and this is great about Switzerland. You do not have to be a mountaineer to climb the highest peak of the Alps, because when you get to the top on a clear day, you'll see four countries. Um, but, it, but the station itself is really interesting. It's carved into the side of the mountain. Uh, and uh, Switzerland is just so accessible uh, for people because uh, you can get to all of these mountaintops with simply a gondola ride or a train ride. Uh, but the Jungfrau Railway uh, is really great. You get really, really high up in the mountains there. Okay, magic moments of Switzerland here. Okay, this is, uh, as you can see, eight days, seven nights. Uh, it starts in 1925, begins in Zurich. This is uh, another independent tour. Uh, so there's pretty much daily departures. You could leave any day of the week, any date you want. Um, and again, we could customize all of this. This one's a little more mountain-centric than the previous one. Uh, so you are going to go a little higher on this one. You're going to go <laughs> Lauterbrunnen and, and the Jungfrau Yoke. Uh, and these are really, really high up in the Alps, in the mountains there. So uh, included in this, as you can see, is a fondue dinner uh, right aboard that Jungfrau Railway that I just talked about. Uh, sledging in the Swiss Alps, you get a, a carriage ride in Lucerne, uh, which is lovely. I've not, I've never done the, uh, that before, but uh, it's just beautiful. You know, you got the horse with the bells on it, and it's uh, it's really really nice. And you go to the top of Mont Titlis here, which is uh, pretty high up. Um, this would be out of Lucerne as well too. Well, there you can see there's Mont Titlis right there. There's the horse drawn carriage. Uh, Let's see, we haven't seen uh, Zurich yet. I believe it's Zurich in the middle of right hand side there. And that's the Jungfrau, by the way, in the lower left. A part of this is the chocolate train, which is really great. It goes to Brock. As you can see, they use vintage cars there. Um, so there will be a chocolate tasting. And uh, you also go to Gruyere, uh, where, appropriately enough, you would have a cheese tasting. Uh, this is a really nice excursion. Um, this is. I've been selling this for years. People love the chocolate train. Okay, so this is uh, another one of our independent tours here. Uh, this is uh, seven nights, uh, sorry, seven days, six nights. This is 1535, begins and ends in Zurich. 
Uh, and this is going to be a little less strenuous. As you can see, there's a little less included, but you do get the chocolate train. Uh, and it's very interesting. You go to places that are not usually, you know, they're a little off the beaten path. Uh, people who are taking uh, really quick trips around Switzerland, they don't always hit these places where this tour goes. So this is a nice little trip here. And this could all be customized too, because it is an independent trip. So you get it right by the Golden Pass line and the Tonka train. Uh, you get the Montreux Riviera card, which allows you to do pretty much anything in Montreux. Uh, you get the Swiss Pass, and you get city sightseeing in Montreux, Zurich, and Lucerne. Ah, there's Zurich on the on the right. We haven't seen it yet. There's the famous clock tower right there. And a lot of our trips, so uh, we do have a Glacier Express escorted tour that includes a, a Rhine cruise, which allows you to see the interior of the country there uh, by train, and then take a ride along the Rhine and see these beautiful hamlets that are all dotted along the Rhine here. And there's excursions and where the boat docks every night. So people are interested in river cruises. We do have a lot of train and river cruise combos here. So this is a nice way to see uh, both the river and see the interior of the country. Now, these independent tours uh, can be upgraded. Um, we always use four and five star hotels on our escorted product. And uh, the price you know, for independent depends on what kind of service you get. You could go moderate, superior, or deluxe. Uh, obviously, these deluxe hotels are gonna be a little more historic and five star properties. And they're more likely to be closer to the train stations, the various train stations. Uh, so usually when you upgrade your hotel, you get closer to the train station. But if your client's like, you could just upgrade your rail. For instance, you could just get a first class Swiss pass, which I recommend, by the way. Uh, whenever I've traveled in Switzerland, I've always gotten the first class pass. Uh, second class in Switzerland is as good as first class anywhere else. So the trains are beautiful. However, just a little bit extra, you get first class, which gets you more privacy, uh, there's less likely to be children running around <laughs> in first class. Uh, and uh, you get uh, more comfortable seats. Uh, so I always just go for first class. And if your clients want, they could just upgrade on the Glacier Express. As I said, these can all be customized. So if you want, say, a room with a view, or you want a nicer hotel in one of these locations, we certainly could do anything like that for your customers. Okay, Kristen, I'm going to hand this back to you. Great, thank you so much, Frank. Um, so I'm gonna open up our second question, which is what interests you most about uh, Switzerland vacation? So after everything Frank covered, all that wonderful information, we just wanna know what stood out to you the most. Was it the destination, the cost, the itinerary, the, uh, the sightseeing? So anything that may have stuck out to you, we would love to know. I'll give you a few seconds to submit your answers. And if anything else came up that I did not just list, feel free to send that in as well. All right, so um, the answers are coming in and the, mo uh, the majority of you are saying the destination is a big one and the um, itinerary is also a big one, which are perfect combinations for these Swiss tours. They make a lot of sense. Uh, we do see a variety of wonderful um, destinations and landmarks and you know the the scenery is just breathtaking so um, it would make sense to have those as the top two um so moving forward i can tell you a little bit more about how to get more information about our swiss tours and our full collection of vacations so you can call or go online and um order any of our available brochures. And to do that, I can show you how to um, contact us and how to book. Uh, so you can call us at 877-929-7245 or go online at www.vacationsbyrail.com. And you just feel free to request any of our available brochures or talk to a real specialist if um, you're interested in booking or learning more about our vacation. All right, so moving on, I'm gonna open up um, some questions. I'm gonna answer, we're gonna answer some questions that you may have had during the presentation. 
And if you missed it at the beginning, no worries. Uh, feel free to submit any questions you might have in the GoToWebinar question box. We'll get to as many as we can today. Probably for the sake of time, we may not get to everyone. If um, you don't hear your answer, your question answered, excuse me, that's no worries. A rail specialist will follow up with you after the webinar to make sure that you get the information you, you need. Um, so to kick us off, Frank, our first question is, how many weeks prior should our trip be reserved? Well, for escorted tours, uh, the sooner the better, because there is a limit. Uh, there are some that are small groups, which are only about 20 passengers, and then some that are larger groups, which are around 40 passengers. Obviously, that means there is a limited amount of space on the actual tour. Um, but uh, for the independent products, you can book a little sooner to the departure date uh, because there's a little flexibility there. They're daily departures. There's no cap to the amount of people that could be on these departures. Um, but it's always best to, to book as soon as possible because even on the independent tours, um, if you do book just a, you know three weeks or a month in advance, um, spontaneity, I'm all about it. But uh, when we start booking the hotels and things, there might be issues with availability. So if you want your first choice of hotels and things like that, um, it's always, always best to book uh, as soon as you know when you want to leave. Awesome, thank you. Um, the next question is, how will how will luggage be handled? So how will a traveler's luggage be handled on any of their trips? Well, on the escorted uh, product, it is handled. There, there is luggage handling included. However, the logistics of Switzerland, there are some portions of, of um, the tour where luggage cannot be handled. You will have to handle your own luggage. For instance, when you're in and out of Zermatt, uh, when you're coming in and out of the station, uh, there's no motorized traffic. We can't have a motor coach, you know, touting your your luggage here and there. Uh, so you will you will have to handle your luggage at times. It's always best to pack sensibly. Um, but uh, on the on the independent tours, you are handling your luggage at all times. And keep in mind, uh, some of these stations you come in and out of, like Lucerne or Zurich, are these you know large glass and steel European rail stations. So uh, it's a walk from your train to the cab station. Uh, and if you're walking to your hotel, there are cobbled streets, things like that, things to consider. So always pack sensibly, pack light. Uh, these hotels do have laundry services, so you don't have to bring a steamer trunk with you. Um, so as I said, on the escorted tour, there is going to be some luggage handling. Uh, your tour manager will assist you with your luggage when needed. Uh, but on the independent tours, um, you are responsible for your own luggage. So something to keep in mind. Great, thank you. Um, uh, the next question we have is how close will my hotel be to the station? Well, on our escort tours, they're always, uh, in, we pick hotels that are in historic city centers, uh, which happen to be usually where these train stations are. Uh, they're on these Cran squares and right in the middle of, of the city in Europe. So it's gonna be close, it's gonna be close. Now, when you're doing independent travel, one of our independent trips, um, the, the proximity of your hotel may depend upon the class of service you you choose. If you choose a moderate package, like the, the base price, um, it is a little more likely that your hotel might be a little further from the train station. And by further, I mean, uh, if you had to take a taxi, it would be about five francs, you know, five Swiss francs. So it's not still, it's not gonna be on the edge of town, um, but it might be a little further from the train station if you booked it in moderate. Now, if you did deluxe, you're probably going to be closest to the train station because, as I said, some of these grand hotels uh, are built so uh, because of their proximity to the train station. And as I said, train stations usually let out in the historic center of these towns here. So it depends. Depends. Great. Um, great. So our next question and our final question for the day, just for the sake of time will be, what is the advantage to upgrading my class of service? Well, I did go through some of that in, in the presentation, but uh, I've always been of the mind that if, if you're there and you're there to experience, say, the Glacier Express, then why not pay the uh, an extra $150 to, to go into, you know, first class or excellence class? Um, you know, this is, this is as I said, um, 
I don't know. I mean, it's just the the first class on on Swiss Rail is fantastic. Um, the historic hotels are very picturesque and atmospheric and have the highest level of service. They're usually closer to the Hauptbahnhofs, the stations. Um, upgrading your package is so little, uh, such a little difference, uh, but it makes the experience much more uh, exciting, much richer, much more uh, uh, memorable, I think. So uh, the slight up increase in cost uh, is minimal compared to uh, what you get on the trip, which is uh, a, a more memorable experience. You know? So that's, that's, I've always been of that mind. Like, why not? You know? So. For sure. All right. Well, that wraps up all of our questions for today. And that also wraps up our presentation. So thank you everyone for attending. We look forward to sending you a brochure that you requested or hearing from you by calling us at 877-929. 7245. And um, be sure to be on the lookout for our special offer exclusively for rail attendees, uh, excuse me, for webinar attendees. And also, please be sure to be on the lookout for more information on next week's online presentation, America's National Park. So we're going to bring it back to North America and talk about um, some of our wonderful national parks here. All right. So thank you so much, everyone. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.